Hey, tomorrow. On behalf of our couple, the very warmest of welcomes to you all. Maddie and Alex are so delighted to have you here. As their closest family and friends, I don't doubt that each of you has played your part in bringing them to this day, and that is because marriage is a community. Maddie and Alex, they feel so lucky to have such a large and awesome circle of friends and family surrounding and supporting them in this decision. everything I have to tell you about love. Nothing. <laughs> this is everything I've learned about marriage. Nothing. Only that the world out there is complicated and there are beasts in the night and delight and pain and the only thing that makes it okay sometimes is to reach out a hand in the darkness and find another hand to squeeze. It's not the kisses or never just the kisses. It's what they mean. Somebody's got your back. Somebody knows your worst self and somehow, somehow doesn't want to rescue you or send you to the, army, uh, to the army to rescue them. It's not two broken halves becoming one. It's the light from a distant lighthouse bringing you both safely home. Because home is wherever you are together. So this is everything I have to tell you about love and marriage. Nothing like a book without pages or a forest without trees. Because there are things you cannot know before you experience them. Because no study can prepare you for the joys or the trials. Because nobody else's love, nobody else's marriage is like yours. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> and it's a road you can only learn by walking it. A dance you can cannot be taught. A song that did not exist before you began, together to sing. Because in the darkness you will reach out a hand, not knowing for certain if someone else is even there, and your hands will meet, and then neither of you will ever need to be alone again. And that's all I know about love. I do believe we're now ready, so I'm going to ask you to stand for the entrance of the bridal party. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, 
Alex Louis Stuart Herbertson. To witness that I, Alex Louis Stuart Herbertson. Do take you, Madeline Olivia Beatrice Abbott, to be my wife. Do take you, Madeline Olivia Beatrice Abbott, to be my wife. I promise to dream with you, celebrate with you, and grow with you. I promise to dream with you, celebrate with you, and grow with you. To support you through life's tough moments. To support you through life's tough moments. Encourage you and always be proud of you. Encourage you and always be proud of you. I promise to be thoughtful and kind. I promise to be thoughtful and kind. Quick to forgive. Quick to forgive. Even quicker to laugh. Even quicker to laugh. And to only be sarcastic when it's truly necessary. And to only be sarcastic when it's truly necessary. And I promise to always appreciate you and to hold your hand every chance I get. And I promise to always appreciate you and hold your hand every chance I get. And I promise to love you for all the days of my life. And I promise to love you for all the days of my life. And Maddie, I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Madeline Olivia Beatrice Abbott. To witness that I, Madeline Olivia Beatrice Abbott. Do take you, Alex Louis Stuart Herbertson, to be my husband. Do take you, Alex Louis Stuart Herbertson, to be my husband. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. To support you through good times and bad. To support you through good times and bad. I vow to always be there to laugh with you. I vow to always be there to laugh with you. To lift you up when you are down. To lift you up when you are down. And to love you unconditionally. And to love you unconditionally. Through all of our adventures in life together. Through all of our adventures in life together. Maddie and Alex, standing here in the presence of us all, you have made your promises to one another. You have exchanged wedding rings. I think all that's left to do is to seal this deal with a kiss. Woohoo! Maddie has always been artistic and creative. Her self-belief and dedication has helped to develop her successful and lucrative career as a social influencer. Let us not forget, however, the hard work that Alex has also contributed to make her business successful. When first meeting Alex, he seemed shy and quiet. Sometimes on the way home from St Andrews, we wondered if we had left him at the service station. <laughs> <laughs> as, as there wasn't a peep from him in the back of the car. However, we got to know him and his dry sense of humour over time. Now we love him and can see why Maddie picked him as her life partner. I just want to say, Maddie, how much joy you have given me as a daughter. I feel, I feel blessed to have you in my life. And now, oh, also you, Alex. You both clearly love each other dearly. And I know that Alex will cherish you forever. To finish, there is usually some advice for the happy couple, but after 12 years together, they may have had enough guidance from me. <laughs> but all I can add is that after 39 years of a loving and happy marriage to Debbie, Maybe. <laughs> well, <laughs> did I say something? <laughs> Maybe some of our words did contain some wisdom. 
and our wish is for you to continue to love and care for each other. So please be upstanding and raise our glasses to the bride and groom, Maddie and Alex. to my wife, Maddie. We've come a long way since spending our evenings eating tubes of Pringles, sat on your university single bed, watching Harry Potter. Um, as anyone who lived with me at uni will attest, I spent most of my time at Maddie's halls or at her flat. Um, <laughs> the main focus of my time at uni seemed to be spending time with Maddie, which probably explains my final grade. <laughs> but I think that's the ultimate testament to our relationship. I knew you were the one I wanted to spend all my life with. And I hope we get to spend many more evenings sat in bed eating crisps and watching Harry Potter. So if we could raise our glasses to my beautiful wife, to Maddie. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.